Hello everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Another Patreon exclusive video and project. And this one took me to the moon and back. I thought I was done and then I wasn't. It kept talking to me that it wanted more. So more it got. So a little bit of fabric, a little bit of jelly plate, a little bit of whole lot of <laughs> acrylic some sewing machine and I ended up with a focal point. So uh, the focal point was sitting on my desk, uh, rejected by another piece and it fit perfectly on this one. So that's what happened. All right, see you on the table. Well, I've taken this through many, many stages today. So uh, you will see, and I will put in the video uh, different areas where you can stop, uh, amazing pieces along the way. But this is what I'm calling finished. So, so much fun. Okay, I have a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbooking paper here and some bits of fabric. And I'm going to take these to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew them onto this paper. And I'm going to leave some of the background of the scrapbooking paper showing. Gorgeous, right? So now I'm going to take a stack of fabric. And you can make these however big you want them, of course. But I'm going to make some circles. My circles are never really circles, but we'll call them circles. We'll call them donuts. And then I'm going to cut the circle out of the center too, the donut hole. And then just lay your donuts on your sewn fabric and paper. And the donut holes as well. Alright, I have lots of donuts and donut holes on my beautiful sewn paper fabric. I'm going to bring in the gesso. I'm going to see if I can do this without gluing these down. We shall see. Looks like I can do it without gluing them down. As long as I'm careful. Alright, after you have a nice coat of gesso on everything, which once you get the gesso down, the fabric will pretty much stay there so you can kind of paint over it, which is so fun. But once you have all your gesso on, then just start removing the fabric pieces. Now that's fun, huh? All right, we're going to let that dry. I'm going to grab another piece of scrapbooking paper and my deli sheet and some craft paint that I really should use up. And I know that my jelly plate is smaller than my craft paper, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. We're just going to play. That's beautiful already. All right, I'm going to dry this in another color. Hand sanitizer this time. Why not?
and just keep playing until you've got a lot of different colors on here. Now we have some very fun colors on there. And what I'm going to do now is just bring in a small stencil. Place it there and place another there. Gorgeous. Another color, please. Bring in my spray adhesive. Spray a little bit on there. Grab my foil. Bring in my black stays on ink and just some lines. some noise. I'm just going to add some splatters. And let that dry. Just going to add a few circles. Nice globby, thick acrylic paint. Grab Bonnie's <laughs> palette knife and just add some fun more texture. Let it dry. While that's drying, I'm going to bring in my Wild Honey Distress Ink. Add a little bit of color to that background. Bring in my Stabilo and go around some of the circles. And when that's grunged up to your liking, just cut it into four equal parts, or sort of equal. Take your four equal parts and put them back together. 
so that they don't quite match. I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew these back together. And all four panels are sewn together. Good morning. Look at this gorgeous piece of paper. It's beautiful. So I'm going to take a ruler and I'm just going to rip some of these pieces out in straight lines, of course, or straight-ish. Some thinner than others. And I'm just going to go through the whole sheet and rip it up into strips. Beautiful, yummy strips. And I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm just going to start adding strips onto the background fabric. Some of them will go all the way across, some of them will just go part way. Let's go have some fun. All right, I had fun on the machine and I just sewed some pieces on. Now, of course, I'm going to go onto the edges here on all of the pieces, on all of the strips. And give it some shadow and dimension with my stibilo. I'm going to bring in a black marking pen And just kind of doodle on some of these, break them up a little bit. I brought in a black Sharpie to finish the markings. And I am done. This is a great piece. Uh, doodle until your heart's content. Enjoy the background. The jelly plate was very fun. A lot of activity in this piece. So on my desk is a mess. <laughs> on my desk I had this um, silhouette cut out in a map. And I am, look at I got yellow Mod Podge from all the paint. And that's okay. So I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on the back of this silhouette that I cut out for another project and did not use. And I'm bringing this piece back in and I am going to put him on there. I have his brain someplace too. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. He's been splattered from laying on my desk. You know I'm okay with that. Just going to kind of push that down. I found his brain. I'm going to put his brain under there. Good idea. A little bit of Mod Podge on there. Put his head back down. And when he dries, I will stabilo him. some triangles to the piece kind of coming out of that third eye or the seeing eye Just never know what's going to happen on the table. To 
Just go with the flow. I'll wait until those dry and then I will stabilo those. Okay, now I'm going to quit. So there's your project for today. Um, you can stop at any point because there are many, many steps in this where you can stop and be wonderful with your abstract or whatever. And I have chosen to add a focal point to this one. So I'm pretty happy with that. Go create, go play, go have fun.